I uh, bought Johnny Mnemonic on Superbit yesterday uh, and checked it out and was pretty amazed and it's inspired me to make this video on Superbit because a lot of you have probably seen these for sale and not realized exactly what they are or what their purpose uh, is. So, uh, well, first off, let me start off by saying that Johnny Mnemonic on Superbit looked amazing. It looked almost high definition. Uh, it was mastered in high definition, or uh, or I guess transferred from a high definition source, obviously. Uh, and I was pretty amazed. I didn't play it in an up converting player. I played it in a standard Sony DVD player, going out through component, and uh, the picture was phenomenal on my Samsung 46 inch 1080p uh, television. Uh, I was very impressed. But in any event, Superbit. Superbit was a basically, uh, or is basically, although they're not making any more, uh, a format that came out for DVD which utilized uh, more of the disk space for audio and video. So what that means is you didn't get to, or if you did, uh, you didn't get to have special features, which was fine with most, you know, film enthusiasts because they had more than one version of the film, and they had the special features. And then some super bit releases that gave you a bonus disc, which would have uh, the special features. And you know, it, it's kind of, kind of like any format. Uh, when it first comes out, the uh, or any video format. Uh, I would I would say the the main objective uh, is to deliver the finest audio and video um, experience possible, or at least with DVD or in Laserdisc uh, or um, in, in Beta, I guess uh, VHS being <laughs> being the latter, uh, you know. And I, I think their intention was to sell more units, which which worked. You know, I think DVD got dumbed down after its initial release. Uh, dumb down and consumer down. So basically, they would pack up, you know, with with uh, special features. And I, I know y'all have noticed this. Uh, I'm sure before you picked up a DVD and been like, "Oh, cool, it has a lot of special features." But then you pop in the special features, and you're like, "This is crap." It's like it, it's just it's just a selling tactic. It became a selling tactic. Uh, whereas you know, with Laserdisc, it was for film enthusiasts. I mean, it was it was stuff that you couldn't get before, and it was exciting. As opposed to now, it's like they put it on your DVD or your Blu-ray or your HD DVD as a selling tactic. And I, I don't mean to, you know, uh, take away from some of the Blu-ray or HD DVD releases, or even some of the DVD releases, because some of the uh, additional content is, you know, great. So the cool thing about Superbit is, you know, instead of... Uh, you know, most of the DVDs that were coming out around that time, putting a bunch of crap that was taken up almost, you know, or a, I won't say half, but a, a good portion of the disc, they decided to totally use uh, the disc for audio and video. And uh, the picture is, and the audio is definitely uh, but uh, reflective of that because it looks amazing, especially, and there's certain titles here I have today which look very good, and uh, others are just okay. Uh, Dracula, for instance, this this was amazing transfer, uh, and it's still very good. The Blu-ray release of Dracula is not, in my opinion, uh, the best, or well, it's the best available, but not, it's not reference quality. This was a reference quality DVD. I mean, this is as good as DVD gets. Uh, and also the fifth element, this excellent transfer. And uh, the, the, this actually looks about as good as the first uh, release of the fifth element on Blu-ray. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, the, the Blu-ray uh, release of the fifth element, the uh, initial release was uh, discontinued and they actually remastered it which was probably a good idea because it was it looked like the super bed which is fine for a dvd player not so good when you pay thirty dollars for it for blu-ray 
and they're playing it on 1080p television. So, uh, that's all I got to say really about Superbit. It's just very cool. Uh, and uh, watching Johnny, Johnny Mnemonic, which isn't before you uh, because it's at my house, uh, really just inspired me to make this video because I was like, wow, they had the right idea. And, I, and really, I'm kind of talking about this because I hope this doesn't happen with Blu-ray, which I could see it happening, you know, being dumbed down. So, that's my phone ringing. But, uh, thanks for watching.